Hello and welcome back on my channel. I'm Create My Comic, but you can also call me Chris. So today I want to talk about this. This is Komurebi, an art book about Jamila Knopp. She released that herself, I guess, about a year ago, roughly. And it's an awesome book. I want to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, little disclaimer. First things first. Usually this is not what the channel is all about. I guess I will share some of the art books I read because I just love sharing art books. So why not do it on my channel? I guess it just makes sense. Uh, secondly, the video quality right now is not the best. And this is because I wanted to show you the book as good as possible, but I also didn't have too much time. So I had to rearrange all my lights in the room. So that makes this video quality look bad, but the video quality when I show you the book is enhanced a little bit. It's not perfect, far from it, but I still have to work on my lighting setup for real life video. So yeah, so take that with a grain of salt. Like the, the quality of this book, the print quality is beyond exceptional, I would say. And yeah, I think it's great. It's, it's, it's way better than it appears in this video. Keep that in mind. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful book. So here we are to continue with the review. Um, yeah, as you can see, this setup is pretty bad. There's my keyboard. This is just two boxes holding the book. Um, yeah, I, I just couldn't manage to get the camera in another good position to show you this without getting everything off my desk. So uh, this has to do for now. Um, so this is the cover of the book and Komo Rebi is Japanese. It's also uh, Jamila Knopp tells you the story about the word in the book that it describes the way um, light goes through foliage and makes these great patterns on people and objects and everything. And this is really some of her forte. She's, she's exceptionally good at this. Um, I totally love like, like what this 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 cover image shows you this this calmness in the image but it has a lot of soul and this is what all her work is about she's an awesome awesome artist I, I'm, I'm really a big fan of her art and i'm not really a, a manga guy like i i do like manga and anime it, it's great it's awesome and i i see the art in it it's it's not that i don't like it but it's usually not my main thing i'm more of a western comic book style guy um or even European stuff like Spanish art, comic art, illustration art. It's, it's all awesome. Um, but Jamila Knopp, she really made it her own. Like she starts out on a very manga style. She's, she's really, really heavily Japan influenced, but it's still different. It's still its own thing. And this is what I absolutely love about it. So first things first, the quality of the book. This is a hardcover. It's a great hardcover. And this print on the top, you can actually feel it. It's not just um, not just printed in color, like it's it's a little bit raised. So this is great. It also has the same going on on the back. Um, if you feel it here, like there's always these raised uh, patterns, and um, it's from 3D Total Publishing. Like if you know digital art, 3D Publishing did a lot of digital art books and a magazine back in the day like it, it's so long ago i remember collecting it when i was dabbling with 3d that was my stuff yeah so quality of the book great great hardcover um that quality of course comes with the price like the price of the book here in germany it's roughly 34 euros uh you can get it through amazon or whatever and um yeah, I guess that's roughly 35, 36 dollars. I don't know if you're in the US, prices may be different, but um, it's in English, so most accessible for, for a lot of people. That is also great. But like I said, I, I rather have a great hardcover book with great quality to a little bit higher price than I have a soft cover book, which I, I don't know. The soft cover doesn't do it for me too much for an art book. For, for a flimsy one, a small one, it's fine. But if it's a real art book, it needs to be a hardcover. Like, in my opinion, this is a must. So let's get to the inside of the book. Um, let me rearrange it so you can see it as good as possible. I guess that is, that is fine. So here's some, some rough sketching. 
well, not exactly too rough sketching, but this is kind of her style. That's what she talks about in this book. Um, a little bit of dedication to her grandparents. And I will flip through the book, um, not on all pages. I guess I don't want to show everything of this book, just so you can get a feel. And luckily, this is a little bit she she drew in the book and had a little caption for me because I met her on the uh, on a convention. I was at the book show in Leipzig here in Germany and I didn't know she was there. I was actually there to see some uh, other artists and was kind of shocked when I saw her work hanging on a booth and then I looked inside the booth and I recognized, oh, that's her and that's actually her in her own booth and she has all her stuff with her. Um, like all the prints, she had uh, big prints, small prints, she had her book, all the stuff all set up, it looks all great. I took a bit, um, a smaller print just for the fact because I have, um, oops, excuse me, just for the fact that I have not much room left as you can see behind me. So I, I can take always the, the big prints and I always already had bought three other prints. So um, yeah, I went to the small one, but also with this book that has been on my Amazon buying list for quite some time. So it, it was just, it was done the moment I saw it. I had I had to grab the book and yeah, was really great that she also signed it for me. That's really special. So, and here's one of her first artworks. And I have to say like the camera, it doesn't capture uh, the subtle tones. Like they get really lost here in the, in the, uh, in the highlights and yeah, I guess in, in the black tones, we will see later, maybe there gets something lost too. This doesn't really have one, but the highlights are a little bit um, burned out here. As you can see here, like this is not, it doesn't has so much contrast. <laughs> you can read easily, that is not the case. But um, what I really like is the content. Like the content in this book is different from other art books. Most art books, they either have like, um, Something like this, where you have one image on the side and on the next page, there's some text to the image. And this is nice and usually a nice thing, but most of the time, not very personal. I don't know, it feels quite generic. Like if you have quite a lot of art books, you see that there's a pattern and there's nothing bad about it. I mean, I can totally understand that it's almost impossible to make art books very personal all of the time. But with this one, this feels really, really personal. And this really has a different approach, in my opinion. Like there, there's, there's different stuff. The way she talks about her upbringings and how she got into art. And then she talks about techniques. And there's also something like a little tutorial. Not, not really a tutorial, but yeah, like she, like she says here, it's, it's the workshop. You can't even see it. Yeah, that, that, that's the, I hope you can see it in the full, full video. Maybe it, it shows a little better than on my preview here. But yeah, there's actually words here. It looks like the contents word. So that's pretty great. That is not an artwork from Jamila Knopf. This is by Lois von Baale. She uh, actually did the foreword. And this is actually pretty green. So yeah, <laughs> like I said, the book looks way better in real life. So that's the introduction. Here you can see like this is a like a typical well, not typical, but this is like the fairy tale, uh, a little bit of magic nature image that you see from Jamila Knopf most of the time. Like, that's her thing. There's a calmness in her, in her images that I really adore. And there's storytelling going on and there's uh, a richness in these images, like, like a whole story unfolding in it. You can see it's its own world. So I really, really adore that. So that's a playroom. So um, she talks in the in the text part. Like, like you can see, it's a double spread page for the artwork. This is great. And then she gives you a little text about her upbringings and uh, what she did when she was a little kid and how she was influenced by anime and all the stuff and animation. So that's kind of how this book works most of the time. You get a big artwork and then, then she goes into detail about all this stuff. And also you can see her variety of um, artworks that she has and styles that she has. Like she works digital, I guess, I think even exclusively, 
I, I can't remember seeing her using uh, traditional stuff. No, that's that's wrong. No, I was uh, I I did sign up for her newsletter, and there she showed some uh, traditional drawn stuff in her sketchbook. So she does sketch a lot traditional too. Um, but you can see here, like really much difference in style. This is a very old uh, picture she has drawn when she was five or six. Um, so that's interesting. And here you can see just the line art, which I find super interesting because her line art is simple, pretty precise, um, but not too precise. If you zoom in or if you get closer to the image, you can see it's not, it's not really, really sharp or anything, but it's still precise in how the line art works in the whole image. And then you go to the fully color piece and it's just such a big difference. Like the way she works with colors and light, light and color, that's that's really something she excels in. It, it's I have so much respect for that. That's just awesome. And um, yeah, also textures. Like I can, I, I think she has a great way to show different textures and materials. So that is pretty great. Um, here's another one, like she has a print of that image, which in a big size is awesome. Like uh, I'm thinking all the time I should get a really, really big print of this image. It's so rich. It's so great. I love it. I mean, it's simple. <laughs> uh, in the, it, the main idea is simple. Like you have seen this kind of image in so many artworks before, but I don't know. It, it's... In my opinion, it's just special how she does it. She 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 gets all the little details, and then you have some smaller artworks here. Again, the the um, name of the book Komorebi for the light that goes through the foliage. It it just shows again how she works with it, um, and the image on the bottom. These images are so calm, but they fully charged with story and questions and I don't know it's just great artwork <laughs> I could just ramble on and on about the way uh, I, I totally adore these images um, here she's talking about her childhood like this is special you you rarely see an artist really go in and talk about their childhood like you get glimpses here and there but then it goes more into technical stuff but she really goes into her motivation into drawing and what influenced her when she was a child while at the same time shows us okay this is the this is the uh, line work this is the flat colors and then when you render out everything you get this image and this is something i can just not get enough from or something like this where she talks about how she likes to get uh, animals involved in her images because she's into nature a lot anyways and then you have these images like, I don't know, like unspoken words. Maybe maybe that's what it is. But you feel like there is really a rich story behind this. And I, I always wonder how much story is in the head of Jamila because you don't know it. But yeah, you could look at this and you can spin a whole scene of a movie out of it if you wanted to. And this is totally great. Yeah, there's, there's more of this and again, nature, an animal. I remember, I guess, when she painted this somewhere, she said this was in the winter, I think. And you can see even the uh, even the characters that look like they from Japan or from Asia, like the facial features are really Eastern style facial features most of the time. Here she talks about creativity and storytelling is the next big one there's a lot of art in here like for me the book i i would have loved to have a have a book that is double the size to even see the artwork better and maybe to even have more artwork in it like this one really was amazing seeing it um the way the texture of the blankets work and everything this was pretty great and i mean the, the thing is, her ideas are pretty simple. I mean, this is, if you break it down, it's a woman with a cup of tea or coffee sitting on her bed, even crammed in the corner of her room with a little window and a cat. Like it's, it, 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 
you have a hard time to make it more basic, but then it is filled with richness, with with storytelling about this character, the way how she sits, um, the way the 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 interior of the of her room is is filled up with books, with plants, and all of that. That's special. Even the the lights on the back, like this is, I don't know. It makes you feel like you could literally walk into the place and touch it. Now, there was some controversy I seen online. Someone said she she copied the cat, which was really weird because that, that was really far-fetched and I, I didn't see it like that. But yeah, I guess that comes with the success. People think you're taking from them. Also, great image. Awesome. Food. I don't know, I, I, I was never much into drawing food, but seeing these images, I might have to try it a little more often. Like, it's interesting. She really gets into it. Like, everything she does, I have the feeling, the feeling that she really gets into it. She, she tries to get better at drawing plants and she takes little photos uh, for reference. And that's quite interesting. Because most of the time, like, if you do comics, um, you really, want to make sure the characters are great that the uh, anatomy fits right and then sometimes you don't want to do backgrounds and i don't know if you're working professionally in the comic book industry there's sometimes there's people that's drawing the background because the main artist doesn't want to do the backgrounds and that's interesting i have the feeling even if she have to do like i don't know just a window or anything that she looks for ways to make it really special and make it tell a story or be part of the story Again, such a calm image, and you can see how the light works from the from the um, candles. It's so it, it, it's really it is subtle, but it works perfectly. Like she really knows how light works, and there's even some black and white stuff. I guess there was even some in Toba um, inspired stuff about some witches which I thought were pretty great, like this one. This is really, really great. Again, this one works great. I think is the the contrast with, there's a lot of white. The white is the hotspot where you really look at, where you really look at it and the background is all black. Like this works really, really good. This is also a great one. More witches. As much as I like these, I think these are great, but she is just so good with color that you cast it. like th there's such a big difference like the black and white ones great i would love to own a black and white image drawn by her but when you get to color that's where she really excels that's where she has like skills that are hard to find in other artists like absolutely dreamy this one just awesome just awesome and it works like it's a working universe that's that's what i find interesting like this image i don't know i was reading up and it took me quite a while to understand that this is actually a woman at the train station surrounded by um these birds those are not birds but i just totally forgot what they named um yeah i forgot <laughs> I don't know, but you can see them. And there wasn't any type of weirdness for me in this image. Like it took me a minute and then I look back at it and then like, oh, that, that's a weird choice of animal. So um, that, that's interesting. And that's because the rest of the image works. You can really get into this universe and say, okay, this is, this is how it works. This is real reality. And this is a skill that is... I don't know, I, I don't think you can just teach that. There's rules for it and you can learn and stuff. Here she talks about her workspace. Yeah, but um, I don't know, there's something that I would really call talent mixed with a lot of hard work and years and years of work, I guess. So here she talks about how the, how the cover was done and I'm flipping over a lot of pages because I don't want to spoil the whole book for anyone. And here's just a lot of details about how the cover work was done. But just great. Of course, a little bit 
of a tutorial how to do foliage, <laughs> which makes sense by the name of the book. And this is about um, the composition. Also helpful. A little bit about color. And this is one of my all time favorite images of her. This is amazing. Again, an image I feel like I have seen so many times done by other artists. But looking at it now, I don't know. This, this one, it just separates itself from all the others, which makes this so, so special. And yeah, that, that's the last from her. About 3D total and a little sketch at the end. And it's a free page. I don't know. Uh, at some point in my life, maybe if I can make it, I will try to ask if I can get a sketch there, depending on the price, of course, <laughs> if I can afford it, but it's great. So, whoops, almost fell down. Como Ravi. Where is it? Yep, 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 yep. Great book, great artworks, can totally um, recommend this book can't recommend it enough like really different for an art book like i said i would have loved to see even more artwork in it but yeah i guess <laughs> that's the thing if you're a fan of the artist you want to always see more of the artwork um yeah totally great i hope you enjoyed this video consider getting in touch with jamila knopf and getting this book like i said you can get it on amazon or whatever uh, this is not paid in any way this is just a recommendation from a fan of her work um, also you should totally follow her on instagram and twitter that's uh i mean it doesn't cost anything and you can see awesome awesome artwork i will link her her social media um, ads in the info box of this video so i guess that's good enough for now i will come back in the next one or two weeks with another video hopefully about artwork from me <laughs> But I hope you guys liked it. If you liked this video, please leave a comment. Let me know if these um, reviews of art books are interesting. I have quite a bunch of other art books that I would like to share. I mean, it's art books about movies, about video games, about drawing, lots of stuff. I could share more of those, though I would have to find out a way to represent them better, of course. So but that's it for today. Leave a like if you like the video, leave a subscribe if you want to follow along and don't forget to check out Jamila's work online, all the info in the info box. And yeah, this is from me. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye bye.